Hi guys, um, a few days ago when uh, I started my uh, my scooter uh, and I connected the Mi Home app to it, um, I uh, I was told uh, in the app that there is a new firmware version available for the scooter. The firmware version that was available was 142. Uh, and at that point I uh, went online to see if I can find the changelog for this uh, firmware version, see uh, what uh, updates are uh, are brought by this uh, firmware version? Of course, I couldn't find any any change log, but instead I found a lot of uh, forum topics uh, uh, saying that you shouldn't upgrade to one for one or one for two, because if you upgrade uh, to one of these uh, firmware versions, you won't be able to downgrade and uh, upload uh, uh, custom firmwares to your scooter. Well, that's not uh, actually true. Uh, I'm going to show you how to downgrade from 142 to a custom firmware version. So let me start screen recording here on the phone. And let me show you. Now, uh, on the scooter, I have firmware version 142. Yes. So the firmware currently running on the scooter is 142. And what you have to do uh, in order to, to downgrade, let's wait for this car to pass. So if you want to upload a custom firmware to your uh, Xiaomi scooter, uh, you will need to download this uh, APK file and install it on your Android phone. Uh, only this patched version uh, is going to uh, be able to write uh, this firmware. Uh, so download this APK, install it on your uh, Android phone. And before uh, creating the custom firmware, you will have to first uh, uh, write to the scooter the firmware version 140 that you will find uh, in the video description. So you have to pass through this intermediary step before going to 138. Uh, this is mandatory, otherwise you cannot downgrade to 138. And this is actually the reason for which I'm making this video, because uh, in other video uh, this was not uh, highlighted enough and I didn't notice this step. Um, I was trying to downgrade directly from one for uh, from 142 to 138 and this was not working. Um, so I already have this app uh, uh, installed on my phone right here. I'm going to connect to the scooter. I'm going to check the version and as you can see here the current version is 142. So I'm going to write this special 140 firmware uh, that's necessary. This is going to take a little while but I'm going to speed up this process uh, before uh, uh, uploading the video on YouTube. So we are almost done writing uh, firmware version 1.4.0. Done, let's see. So as you can see now we have firmware version 1.4.0. Only now we can go again and write the custom firmware. So I have this custom firmware already prepared. And I'm flashing it. Again I will speed up this uh, process before uploading the video. Okay, almost done. Done, check version. So we are on 138. So this proves that uh, it's actually possible to downgrade from 141 and 142 to 138. Um, what I recommend 
Instead of using the Mi Home app from now on, I recommend using the Segway app. It has the same features as uh, uh, the Mi Home app. Let's try again. Okay. So, basic info. As you can see, firmware version 1.3.8. Uh, this app has the same uh, features as the uh, Mi Home app, but instead it's not going to tell you to upgrade uh, the firmware all the time. So if you start using the Mi Home app, it's going to tell you that a new firmware is available and uh, by mistake you can flash the updated firmware and you will have to run all this process again uh, yeah it should come with a pop-up as you can see it's saying that a new version of firmware is detected upgrade of course you don't want that because we don't want to repeat all these steps again and again so that was all uh, if you found this uh, video useful then uh, please uh, like and eventually subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.